Today, we're doing a really simple project. I keep my air compressor in the wood shop. This big room has now become more of a vehicle workshop. So what I would like to do is be able to have air tools in here without having the compressor in here because the compressor is really loud, which is definitely a problem when you're making videos. So this project is so simple. All I'm doing is taking some half inch galvanized pipe, running it through the wall and giving myself access to compressed air in this shop. I went to Lowe's and got all the parts I needed. It's really not that much. It was fairly inexpensive. So let's just give this table a shake and there we go. We got our first parts put together. Next, I just needed to go put the pipe up on the wall and kind of figure out exactly where I wanted access and where to go through the wall to the workshop. After I got that figured out, I found the stud. That way I could run the pipe right along the stud and have a good anchor point for it. Next, I marked the center of the hole with an automatic punch, drilled it out, put the pipe through, had to drill it out a little bigger, and then we're good to go. This is what it looks like on the wood shop side. I got really lucky that I didn't hit a shelf because I didn't measure or anything ahead of time, which is not a smart way to do things. So then I came back to the big room and attached the pipe to the wall right into that stud that we were talking about. Then I put the rest of my pieces together with movie magic and attach those to the open side of the pipe in the workshop. I have a retractable hose in the wood shop and for now that's how I'm gonna do it. Once I find a more permanent location for my compressor, I may run a hard line all the way to the compressor because it'll look nicer and it'll be a lot more sturdy. But for now, the retractable hose is gonna work just fine. Then back in the big room, I realized I put on the wrong connection, so we'll get that fixed real quick. Then I also added a valve. You don't really need this, but it is handy to have just in case. Now it's time to hook up a hose and give it a test. Oh man. Well, that's it for today, guys. Super simple video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next one.